Welcome back to Odin Does Drinks, people, my people, and tonight we're doing the long review of the Agua Cocoa Leaf Liqueur from um, Bolivia, where cocaine is made. And cocoa leaf is the native or raw resource for the expensive marching powder, which I've never tried. I've, you know, but I've never tried this. So I've got a little bit in the cup that you can see, and I'm going to give it a try. Mmm. Even on a warm day, and I'm doing this during the middle of the day because I've been hauled home because my kid is sick. I'm, he's sleeping in the background. So there's almost no nose. It's not quite cordial. It's not quite chilly. There's bits of mint in the back. Um, the website for this says that Basically, the coca leaves are under arm guard into Amsterdam, and then the Dutch do what the Dutch do. Um, well, it's weird. Um, the back burn is really quite interesting. Yeah, there's a lot going on, and I'm not entirely certain that I actually like this shit. Uh, yeah, that, that whole burn. Weird. It's, it's not chilli. And there's no mention of chilli in this. I mean, coca isn't even in the same family as chilies, which are potatoes, um, tobacco, tomatoes, eggplants. Um, this is weird. Um, look, if you want to go, you know, say, oh, look, I've got some liquid cocaine, in the closet, I'm going to give you know the aunt Bessie something to freak out over Christmas and give her a bit of basically liquid cocaine. Yeah, knock yourself out. Um, I don't think I'd be pursuing this any further. I don't particularly like it, um, and it's not as bad as upside because that's just completely fucking vile shit. But I'm glad I didn't buy a full bottle of this, or otherwise it would be for someone I really did not like to palm this off onto. So. Thank you very much for subscribing, liking, sharing. This is the Agua Coca Leaf Liqueur that I will not be trying again.